Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Game of Thrones mod, we are back as Barrow King Harrion, new nicknamed the Conqueror of the Barrow Lands. Last time we left off, we've taken over the Dreadfort. The Dreadfort is no more. Uh, next to us, it was the biggest kingdom in the north. Pretty much was uh, the whole uh, east of the White Knife. Pretty much was all theirs, except for Last Hearth. They even had uh, Skagos up here. Which uh, Last Hearth had at one point and lost. But right now, we ended up getting um, the claim for the High Lordship of Winterfell during the war. So we have to press that claim before he dies. It's not going to be inherited. So we are going to have to do that here sometime soon. I'm thinking probably as soon as everybody fills back up. Even if, uh, you know, the Basil... Well, most of the Basil Brett levies raised too long are pretty low because we had to uh, do the whole um, give them tax money or whatever but we can change that back pretty much right away I mean <clears throat> we have what uh, one two three four five and there's four again so I think ours counts as a boat too which we are going to do right now because we need the money so um I want to at least get that back to there and plus it's good too if you have to have to use it in war for that reason being um so i think we have enough to uh do this so i think we'll just go ahead and do it now let me make sure one two three four five and then he's undecided so hopefully he'll go with us uh right, we'll go ahead and do it we have uh some factions starting just because we're, we took over a whole swap of land that we weren't over top of at one point our son's trying to depose us but I think it's kind of, I don't know. I think he doesn't want to be 50-something years old and have to uh, take over as an old man. Which I don't want him to either. I'm thinking maybe uh, if he gets to like, you know, like 35 or something, then maybe we'll have him advocate too. Like, I'm going to start doing that more often instead of having these like 80-year-old men. I just think it's stupid. A lot of times back in that, that time period, it was more of a noble thing to be in the Night's Watch. So people did it all the time. And there was kings and lords that would step down to let their sons take over. So it's more fitting to this time period. Um, Athos is gone of the widow. He has uh, Florent as his wife. Now their kids are not going to inherit that bloodline. Um, they're only going to inherit the dust one, which is fine. But uh, she has the claim on the reach where if we're feeling, you know, we're going to end up probably having just as many men as him after the Dreadfort stops hating on us. I wish we would have finished the war with her dad still in power because then she wouldn't hate us as much. Um, we could claim the reach in his wife's name and then uh, if they have a kid, it's not going to go towards uh, the kid that he already has, which kind of sucks, but at least it would be a Dustin over this. And... But the thing is, is that Dustin could end up getting a claim on the stuff that we have and try to go to war. It'll give us a little flavor added to it. Something we have to worry about. Um, I don't understand. It says, uh, Despicable. They, they, the king on the rock practices despicable custom of slavery. We must set their slaves free. Now, I don't know where she has slaves. Does she have, like, uh, slave camps or something? Competent ruler. She has no slave camps. I don't know who. Maybe somebody at her vassal must have slaves or something because that's the only real way you can emancipate uh, the kingdom. It's funny that the Iron Islands are the ones doing it when they have thralls. So it's just funny to me, but I don't know. But yeah, they lost their war to the Reach. The Reach still has some of his kids. Uh, his wife is still there too. So, he's still at war with the, uh, the Rock. The Rock, I think, has more men than him. Thing is, the Rock, they're usually stupid. They go here and they land on their island. But they could just stay where they're at. Especially, he's the one that uh, started the war. So, she doesn't have to go there. But anyways, enough of that. We can make Kingdom of the North. We're not going to. Um, we do need a Sworn Shield. But I think this guy sucks, right? Yeah. Try to find somebody that's better. Hopefully, uh, by the time... Before this episode, there we'll be able to make the uh, kingdom. This girl's good. Make the kingdom of uh, 
the Barrowlands, whatever it's going to be called. He's 60. Uh, I don't know. I guess we can make a woman. I mean, I don't think there's anything against doing it. Um, he's brave. How is she? She is not brave. She's depressed. The hunter. I think the other dude was just the duelist. Yeah, we'll, we'll take him. He can be made a commander too, if need be. How does our commanders look? I think all our commanders are the same. No, see, every time we take over something, they always put some, like, scrub. Like, this guy sucks. So I think we'll let him take over that spot. Um, yeah. Um, let me see. Nobody else. They just put that one guy, I guess. Alright, so we're good. There's no titles we can give out. Um, they actually gave, like, a couple of ours to people that already, I guess, had them under their, uh, kingdom. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and, um, unpause. I think everything is good. We can arrest some people. I don't know. What's he trying to do? He's trying to kill that guy. Um, she's trying to kill the Tully. I forgot about that. Um, I don't know what he's trying to do. And... He is trying to replace Eller. Yeah, all right, we got that. All right, command household guard. We don't need to do that. Let's look at the claims real quick. Uh, I want to look at the ones that aren't in the reach. <laughs> None of these are married to Dustin's, I don't think. So they're kind of pointless to do. Ew. <laughs> She's uh the coastlands. He's a Castellan for the Dreadfort, so I don't worry about him. Yeah, and there's a couple claims under them other than Winterfell. Uh, somebody has Dawn Force, which isn't going to matter because we're going to end up taking all that. Now, what's probably going to happen is we're going to get Winterfell, hopefully. We probably get Dawn Force on top of it because she has it right now. And this will become uh, a, uh, what you call it, a independent high lordship. I doubt she's going to, she might take somebody's land up here, but I don't think so. I think it might just be a independent afterwards. And then all we'll have is last hearth. Matter of fact, we need to move our guy. We're going to probably put him on last hearth, maybe. Hmm. I don't know if we should put him on last hearth or this one here. We'll put him here for now and see what happens with Winterfell. I think I'd rather have this High Lordship because there are only two. And then somebody we have a claim already on um, last river. There's actually two of them, so... That'll take care of one. This guy is declared incapable at 16. He's married to like a Giscari, I guess, our tall man. Alright, let's go and pause. Let's see, uh, yeah, I forgot to do this last time. We were supposed to, uh, become his guardian. I don't think, I thought I did it, but I guess not. Alright, he's gonna be our sworn shield bodyguard, and you're also gonna be, um, where's the, uh, uh yeah, commander. We're gonna trade you out for this douche. Alright. There we go. We're just waiting for this money to get the 400. Hopefully, we get special tip or whatever the hell that shit's called. Uh, this is a good way to make some money. This is one of our uh, newly acquired uh, High Lords. It's actually a powerful vassal. He's a good amount of men. So, we will go ahead and try to win some extra money that way. Hopefully, we don't get killed in the process. Let me make sure we have our sword equipped, yes. And we also have our boat, I forgot about that. Uh, prove the to yeah, alright, good. So we'll get a little more tax money out of that. Alright, see how much more it is. I was in a tournament, although I did not have the opportunity to distinguish myself in the bay life. I was sitting around and listening to two knights plot together and advantage themselves in the next bout. I ordered some, I offered some advice how I was, how was I supposed to know? So we lost Intrigue. Uh, I about to say, did we get kicked out of it already? Alright, so we're in the final stages, I guess. This guy's pretty good. Even though he's only 65, he's a duelist. We're just a hunter. Our son's the duelist. Alright, we'll go with uh, speed. Speed usually is our best thing. Why don't you just give up? Now he's got a black eye. Hopefully we get them this time. If we can win, like, I think this is a regional melee. We might be able to get like 25 gold. That make us ever closer. Uh, so this is the new guy. Oh, he got a swollen wrist and a black eye. 
He didn't give up last time though. He must have made him get through the match then. But we wouldn't be facing him. No, he's all done. Hopefully we just breeze through this. Uh, 85. Watch, he might get us. Alright. Uh, it's good to feel recognized. It'd be great if we can get Formidable Fighter. It gives you like a 2% chance uh, during these melees. It's like, I don't think I've ever gotten it through that. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, he actually had to quickly evade and roll out of the way, get a swollen wrist. Maybe our Valerian still sore will see us through. Damn it, he got us. <laughs> I hope he doesn't kill us. Oh, what up? What happened? Yield, yield. Uh, we gain wounded. We get swollen ankle. You know, we'll yield. Then that was the last one, probably. Oh, we gain brave. As the war grows to be a constant present in your life, you have several occasion faced nay, almost courted death. All right, good. So we get brave. Give us some extra marshals. Marshals insane. He only has a base of eight, so it's a bunch of extra shit. Uh, oh yeah, that's different. Uh, it wasn't the final. I guess that was the semi-final. The many hours of tenth battle, only Lord Athos, Dustin, and Belgrave Goldshire remain in the field. They engage in a final duel, which Lord Athos won after forcing Belgrave to yield. So these Lord Athos could proclaim the winner of the melee. So at least we have some dynasty uh, glory there. Yeah, I don't think we got any any money, which sucks. All right, this kid, what are you good at? Um, you're good at Marshall, but you're got negatives here. We send you to the Citadel. Uh, this, yeah, I guess we'll go diplomacy. Get you a guardian here. I will give him to the son, but he's gonna have to take care. Of oh yeah, shit, we need to have him train the children. He's so good at it. His negative is only 1.8, so should be no reason why it'll be negative. She wants to flip back our plot, or we're not gonna do. All right, melee is over. So at least our son won. He's still trying to tame that dragon, though, which bothers me. Oh, he did take back one of the gate, uh, the things. What happened with this dude? Did he take it from him? Huh? Maybe this was go. How long is this guy? Oh, you can't check the history on those. This might not be the same dude because I gave the one guy both of those. Unless he took it from him or somebody died. Uh, Lord Lister the Exile has declared war against the tyranny of Lord Megger Snow. So there's 916 men. We're going to tell him to stand down. I thought they can't. I thought that that law I have that says you can't, uh, pass an alarm wage for private war. I guess because it's like tyranny or some shit. Does he got tyranny? Yeah, of course he does. Um, command to end war. We'll see what he says. Alright. He stopped, I guess. My bastard brother, Lord Megastone, has tried to have Lord Lister of Grey Fort Acorn Grove arrested, but failed to apprehend him. We know. He stopped, anyways, so. We're getting there. Prince Melio, I guess you start the castle. Oh, we don't care. Yeah, we're really good ready to start with uh, Winterfell here shortly. Oh, uh, you want to get married? Why not? Let's see if I find you somebody real quick. What are you, 20? Uh, this one's not bad. There's good traits, at least. Uh, let's see. Best. Yeah, we'll just go with her. There you go. Oh, there was somebody I was looking at earlier. Where's the girl that was a genius? There she is. I think we'll marry her to uh, my heir's heir. And then we'll try to get the other one to like, do a... Uh, what the hell is it called? Get one for an alliance instead. Because he doesn't have the traits like he does. And they're about the same age. He's going to lose a little prestige from it, but oh well. I'm trying to get me an heir that has a genius or quick. Do it the right way, at least. Um, Discouraged, what are you trying to do? You're trying to depose me. What if I ask politely? 
I don't think anybody will join it though. To tell you the truth, we're still gonna ask. Oh, he says no. It's no big deal. It's only minus 15. All right, <clears throat> we're at 377. We're getting close. Created the High Lordship of the Fingers. Did he take over something? No. What's up? What happened to Northfield? What happened here? Did this guy get his shit taken all the way? Hold on. Where's Blackwood? She should be under Northfield, so I don't know what happened to him. I guess his kingdom just kerpooped. All right, this guy, it was conquered and leading of an uprising. So, his kid didn't get shit. <laughs> he said he's the heir of Lordship of Coldwater Burn. So, I guess he does, uh, his heirs don't count, I guess. Why isn't his heir the heir to that? That's weird. Huh. I don't know. He was a rebel in one. That shows how many men that guy had. He didn't have any men. Alright, then we're close here. Yeah, we can go ahead and do it now. We shouldn't lose too many... We shouldn't lose any money, really. Because I'm not going to probably need even all my men. Let me see how many we have. Oh, yeah. Look how many men we have now. Vassal-wise alone. I'll end up knocking that out real quick. Thing is, though, we have to wait until... uh. You know what, uh, we'll wait, because if we do it, and then we're going to have to wait till we're at peace to uh, actually proclaim that. What are you, six? So you're just going to get duty. Uh, who's this? This is the peak girl. She has a blood Oh, uh, yeah, she has the gardener one. Um, She's good at diplomacy, so we'll go with that. Find you a guardian. There's one do that. Uh... I guess we'll let her do it. Alright. Is my son... Oh yeah, he's over top of... Jus Joshua. <laughs> Joshua. Alright. We're only 12 away. And then we'll proclaim the Empire or whatever. But I think you do have to be at peace. Yeah, at peace. So we'll do that and then we'll start the war at Winterfell. For some time now, the county of Barrington has served as an unofficial training ground for your armies as there are plenty of open space on which to train and abundant food to feed the troops. A group of senior officers are now petitioning you for money in order to erect an official regimental camp in the county. Are you kidding me? No. Eh. I mean, it would get 30 years of 15% levy size. That's a lot, man. That's a lot to pass up. Uh. Alright. <clears throat> I think I'll just do it. Yeah, we'll do it. Alright. I'm gonna stop here and go ahead and then come back in. <laughs> Alright, we're back. Um... We got, actually we got a tip, so it almost got us up there again, uh, but I wanted to start, I was going to wait till I had 400, but I wanted to come back because it looks like Winterfell is about to die. They have a uh, peasant revolt, which is <laughs> a lot more men than she has. She has no allies. She does, oh, uh, North Clans are already part hers, so... She looks like she's going to lose Winterfell to a peasant revolt. So either way, we, we're still going to have the claim. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to see what's going to happen. We're so close to 400, so might as well come back. We got a uh, 66, I think it was 66, uh, special, what is it called? Tilf, Tiff, whatever the fuck. Where your uh, steward gives you more money. But it isn't enough yet, but we'll get it within like a month or two. Uh, somebody's trying to kill me. Oh, where's my, I think my spy master somewhere else. Oh no, she's here. All right, good. Hopefully, we find out who it is. I don't see it being anybody. Oh, I don't even have all these stuff plots on. Yeah, do that. Oh, I usually turn that on. I'm surprised I didn't have it on. All right, scheming and board fruit. Uh, Gwen Westling seeks to kill Kellis Westling, who is who? Uh, probably a sister or somebody. His daughter? No. We'll find out. How did you die? And why? <laughs> uh, she had rabies. Alright, we'll figure out who he's trying to kill here in a second. Oh, that's a guy. I thought it was a woman's name. 
I'll wait till we get like 410 just so we don't go completely bankrupt. Uh, Lord Garth of Seaguard died. We're definitely not gonna go into hiding. We're a man's man. Alright, we're definitely gonna have to start this war though with them. I think maybe. If we were to start the war with them. As long as we took everything first, see, but they're gonna siege down Winterfell, which we're doing right now. So we might need to just wait and let them do that. <clears throat> um, Alright, we're at enough. We're gonna go ahead and do it now. We're gonna go ahead and found our new empire. So it should be turned into Empire of the Barrowlands. It'll be like being, uh, you know, like a king of the north. But uh, hopefully it doesn't change the color too crazy. But There we go. Your achievement in founding a kingdom of the Barrowlands means the bloodline of House Dustin is now, ooh, highly respected by all the peoples of your glorious domain. House Dustin is now considered a traditional great house of the region. So, a new Dustin bloodline is established. Bloodline gains traditional dynastic claim on the kingdom of the Barrowlands. Bloodline gains a traditional dynastic claim on the high lordship of the Barrowlands. So, there we go. We got us a new bloodline. So it doesn't go under my brothers though, I don't think. Yeah, it's only my and the kids under. Which kind of sucks, but I guess it keeps away uh, ambitious family members. <laughs> so we got one just like uh, most of the other ones. So Kingdom of the Barrowlands, I don't think they're going to consider that like the High Lord. I think it is pretty much the High Lordship of it instead of uh the actual like unless what's under this right now would be considered de jour let's look at it because sometimes you find a new empire yeah see it's titular so usually i would figure it would make a, a what you call that we can still make the kingdom of the north and that would just be a kingdom title under us and we would get de jour land over all that and we wouldn't have to pay anything for it but the thing is because that's an empire tier, I think the people that would be under this, like if you look at the Rills, they're all going to want Kingdom of the Rills, I would think. She doesn't, or does she? No, it just says title claim it. He's not in the Rills. What's the other one we have? Uh, the Rills, Dreadfort. So I don't think... Uh, yeah, she wants Lordship of uh, Weird for I guess it would just say title claim it. So nice. So we got another bloodline, which is great. So now we have a traditional claim to that region, which is cool. It doesn't pass the bastards. So we got two bloodlines. That's nice. Um, we get an advisor now, which is good. We can keep other people happy. Uh, I do. I think this guy has more land than uh the crossing does. Let's look. Uh, crossing does usually can have a good amount of men, but the broken branch has a lot. All right, we'll make the broken branch, dude. I'm not doing the dread for it because they're, you know, just gonna hate me regardless right now. Um, let's see what else. We can't do anything else right now. We could proclaim Kingdom of Westeros if we get uh, we have to have at least uh, what, all the following. You have to have 500 realm sides, which we'll never have unless we get everything else. And that's a long thing. That's gonna take forever. Ew, it turned it bright yellow. Ugh. Oh my god, that color is putrid. Uh, I like the mustard color better. Man, that is bright yellow. Oh my god, that is gross. Ugh. Ew. Man, why is it gonna look like that? Ugh, it's so nasty looking. Ugh. So I wonder how would you... Alright, so if you can make the... Uh, if you make the Kingdom of the North, right? So we can't make this one. We If we make this one, I guess it would automatically be that because we're king. I assume. I don't know. I almost want to make it just to be able to have the du jour over these assholes. But then again, it would make it to where I wouldn't be able to take them for myself, though. I think we'll, I'll wait till the end of the episode, and, and or we'll do it next time. See if it uh, makes any difference. Courtier William Darkling expressed desire to get married. I thought I'd just let you get married. I could have swore I just married that guy to someone. Ooh, she's got spots. Yeah, this was the girl. What happened? Did she say no? Alright. 
All right, so yeah, this is a little clusterfuck here because if we were to go to war with them right now, they're gonna take Winterfell out unless we attack them, and we're not gonna get our men together quick enough. And we can't take Winterfell back after he already takes it. She's not even gonna go at him because she doesn't even have the manpower to do it. I'm surprised somebody isn't helping her. We couldn't help her if we wanted to. I guess peasant revolt. You're not allowed. Um, I'm thinking maybe. Well, oh, we could force vassalize him now, because he's uh, what you call it? He's lower than us. Hmm. 2,500 prestige. Other people might come help him. But I guess it's something we can do while we're waiting for Winterfell to get uh, their shit in order. Hmm. I guess I could do that. Well, with this one, I'm definitely going to take the uh, claim, not force vassalization, because I want Winterfell for ourselves. So, we're def I think we'll do that. That's why we're waiting for it. I mean, it's going to knock all my prestige out of the water, but it's better, I guess, just to get it done there. But we'll have, like, around 1,500. Alright. So hopefully nobody comes to help them. Let me make sure there's no packs I can get or anything real quick. Um, I think we'll be fine. We got almost 20,000 men. I just don't want to waste uh, the vassal men on doing that when I want to go at them. This is probably going to take a little bit of time. Is she in hiding? Of course she is. There's other ones that aren't... They're somewhere else, though, so we don't have to worry about them. We'll go ahead and just force vassalization on them. You know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to just... We're going to do this. We're going to create this title. That way we can just de jure them and not have to worry about losing all the uh, prestige. But this is going to be my primary title, I would assume. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see what happens. Create. Alright, create a title, Kingdom of the North. So we still have our one thing. Alright, good. We couldn't make it primary anyway because it's less. So, now we should be able to de jure them without any. What you call it? So we'll become his new liege. We won't have to worry about losing any uh, prestige. And the other people shouldn't come in on it. Barrelander's state of war send the ravens the great lords rallying them to the crown's defense. This is the only bad thing. Because <laughs> I have mega wars on and Jetport's probably going to tell me to go F myself. Uh, we'll have him come in I guess. Oh, uh, let's mount up the troops. How many men does he even have? He doesn't even have a thousand men. Um... You know what, we're just going to raise so many because I don't want to have to put all these people together. Um, yeah, raise hers. Where is his land in? Alright, he has this, so we'll raise them here. And then his men, how many does she have? 600. We'll just raise them. I think that's enough. He has 500. I guess we'll raise them. Mmm, and then there's. Yeah, that's good. Alright, I'll have them all come meet there. Hopefully they don't... He shouldn't try to pick them off, because... Uh, I have no titles that are no longer necessary to... I have titles that are no longer necessary to hold. Uh, Kingdom of the Barrowlands no longer exists. Uh, Kingdom of the Rills no longer exists. Dreadport no longer exists. Alright, so it's just, uh... Just the North now. So it's that title in the North. Alright. Let me see something. Mmm, title has no holder. Hmm. Alright, I don't know. Hold on, that's say, uh, let me see something. Yeah, never mind. Who cares? Alright, yeah, I don't like this yellow. It's disgusting. It does look like stomach acid. <laughs> it is so gross. I didn't mind the other, uh, mustard yellow. This is like so bright, like I gotta pull the map back. <laughs> Alright. He's probably gonna siege down some shit while we're getting together. What's this? Listen to advice of my Bannerman Lord, whatever, whatever. Release the Lordship of Golin and realms from their obligation to my person, thereby creating, granting them independence. 
so what's going on over here so I guess uh is this guy just I don't know <laughs> let's look your coon has been the same ever since Valeria is gobbling up other people the Riverlands is like a mess like there's just crap everywhere all right everybody's getting together matter of fact you guys go they're all going there all right let's put you guys together and we will have you come up eventually all right i'll put us in the middle and gerald and then where's our flanker did he die oh he moved way down belgrave do we have anybody better um this pyron dude's pretty good so we'll just put him instead all right we got enough we'll go and go take him out first you guys stay there you guys just come that way actually how many men do you have here a thousand uh i guess we'll have them just go make a beeline and then we'll take those guys and siege down last hearth after we take out those guys put you guys together who's this all right um you're good at stewardship put you there um find you a guardian that's just a long guy we'll give you him and then who are you sabrina the teenage witch give you duty anybody else acting stupid silva wade wants to kill a lady jane or rose be my guest you can try heh <laughs> to the crafty little bitch all right um winterfell has been taken so what's the war score from the damn 71 percent so it looks like we're gonna have to fight uh <laughs> the uh peasant revolt all right the people of fever can no longer work the fields all right we're having mild winter already let's go they'll stop hopefully they stay there it takes so long to get county to county up here all right, Barrettson's in a mild winter. Uh, Osmond Peak, you were good at. Hmm, I'll just give you entry. And let the uh, Spa Master train. Oh no, we'll let. I don't want you to be craving, but. She's craving too, so this doesn't matter. We'll let, we'll let him do it. And is there somebody else? Ashmark. You're good at intrigue. And I'll give you. I guess we'll let her do it. Bam, there's another kid? Uh, six, Marshall. And then we'll give you over to. I'll let Gerald, I guess, take care of you. Good. Now we can finish off last hearth. They didn't even get to take anything. I thought they took it. Uh, what happened? Brian... Oh, this is the Royce we took his sword and his armor from. He was already deposed, though. Alright, let's go to Last Hearth. While these guys siege down Last River. They have Gwen. We'll put Harry and Megger. Ah, uh, news from Illyria. Blah, blah, blah. This guy's pretty good. Alright, don't bother me with such news. Let's look at Winterfell. Winterfell is about to fall. <laughs> um, let's see. That's a ju juicy information. She's trying to... Prince Barthagon of the North. Who's that? She's trying to put a Stark over top of the North. Is he even in relation to you? What's the point? Well, she dropped her... We could give her money and she'd like us a little more. We're not losing any money. We have a lot of Crown Loyalists. Um... You know what, we'll just keep this to ourselves. Because she's probably going to tell us to get lost anyways. And it's just going to make her have a negative opinion even more. They're sieging down Kerwin right now. So they're going to lose Winterfell to a bunch of peasants. They had that uh, turned up a little. You know what, they should... If they were smart, they would take them up there and take it back. But they don't even... Where's their 8,000 men at? Oh, she lost a lot of men. She must have tried to fight them. I must have missed it. 
They lost a lot of men too. How stupid. Uh, bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning sexual preferences. What is he, gay? What's wrong? I mean, nothing wrong with him. The crown loyalist, leave my bastard brother alone. Uh, has a skull of Sylvia Duradon added to his treasury. <laughs> what a creep. Alright. Okay, turn this up so we can hurry up and siege this out. I don't think it's gonna be enough. We're probably gonna have to go after him. I don't know where he's going. King Dudley is not there. He's in hiding with his wife. Oh, we're at 100, so we can stop. 100% King Dudley, you are now under the King of the Barrowlands. Boom. I know he's going to want to try to keep his royal style, but it's not going to happen. Alright, negotiate annexation. Uh, what the fuck happened? She took... She uh, yeah, she took the title of Aradel up here. So now, this is actually... Uh, they have to actually, I think, siege out whatever it is. It doesn't matter, because I can still take... Uh, oh, hold on a second. That is crazy. Because we have the high lordship of Winterfell. We're not going to be able to take that. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, I'm not taking this until I can get Winterfell. So now I'm at to pay extra money. Because even if I take the high lordship of Winterfell, it's not going to count as that. All I'm going to get is that. Where's it at? See? All I'm going to get is fucking King's Course. Whatever the hell that is. When whatever this is. King's Course. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Dudley Umber currently enjoys the title of last King of Last Harp, however, he holds no legal right to keep his royal style under my vassalage, therefore I decide whether to remove this title from him or else grant royal privilege. I will suffer no other kings in mine. I can't believe that. I mean I can de jour her, you know what I mean, but I can't even de jour that. I can de jour all that. But by the jour this, it's just <laughs> that one little thing. So we're going to have to wait to get that title. So we're going to stop here. Now I'm kind of pissed. Some damn peasants took over. Maybe she'll take it back if she builds up her men. Most of her men were through Winterfell, so I don't see that happening. Anyways, go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and stop here. Um, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.